Good morning, everybody. Todd Murray, planning operations for uh, the McCash Fire and Great Basin Team 3. Just want to give you a quick update uh, around the fire and kind of the plan for today, uh, the 26th of uh, August here. So again, we continue night operations each night and the update from those folks last night as they continued to work both in Division Delta and Tango, uh, continuing to patrol and have a presence on the road systems that have been prepped that uh, we are watching fire back down towards in that steep country and continue to stay in front as that fire comes down to the road we pick it up we stay in front of it we do burnout operations as need be just to maintain the road system so that we can continue to utilize those features that have uh, had a lot of work to stop the the spread of fire on those road system as best as possible so that went really well both in division delta and tango and what that does for us uh, with today's operation is it gives us opportunity specifically in tango to use the 11 road system connect this fire and uh, tie it in to the old 2017 hay press fire so they're going to be in there using the 11 road system that has now been prepped and try to uh, tie everything in and, and stop that fire from moving down the slope. In Division Delta, uh, we've done a number of, again, road prepping on uh, road systems that runs from T-Bar up to the Hans cabin. Uh, we got a little more prep. We got to finish up first thing this morning. And then again, they'll be looking at doing the same thing on the road systems, the O2 road, just stay in front of the fire and just uh, do a little burning out operation as conditions allow. Nice and slow and steady, nothing uh, too aggressive. Just want to maintain pace with this fire as it wants to back off again that steep, steep country there. Um, going up to the north, so uh, we did finish the prep in here in the Division Juliet with all this dozer line. So we've repurposed these folks. Um, they're working in the Elk Creek drainage, doing structure assessments currently. Uh, so that we know what's in there to get everything identified and know what type of work we got to go in there and do in terms of preparation and structure protection. We've also uh, repurposed what we had the original structure group here in this area. They're now becoming the Highway 96 corridor structure group and so they're working as far north as Happy Camp and as far south as Orleans and, and Soames Bar and again the major focus for them right now for today is kind of in independence just because this fire is continuing to want to move this way um, and it you know the major majority of the growth is here on this north and the east side and so we need to really focus up there first thing we have had folks in patterson in marble ranch and in rogers creek we have done assessments in there so we have a good idea what's in there we haven't done a whole lot of preparation just because, again, our priority has been here on the west side and up here north. Um, we will, we have folks uh, lined out eventually within a day, hopefully to get them down south and start looking more further down to Soames Bar and again into Orleans and revisiting anything that we need to in Rogers Creek and uh, in Patterson there. So that's our plan for the day and uh, thanks for spending the time.